First District includes a lot of veterans, and it is, of course, home to the Manchester VA facility. We recently spent some time with veterans here in New Hampshire to find out what their priorities are. Here's what Army veteran and Gulf War veteran Mark Sacco had to say. I believe we need more resources in the VA system, more funding for the, the veterans to whether it's physically, mentally, or social uh, programs out there in the general public. I just, I don't want to see politics in the VA system. It doesn't belong there and it should be more medically uh, managed in there by the professionals, not politicians. We thank Mr. Sacco for his service, of course. But uh, Mr. Pappas, do you think the VA system is adequately funded? And what, if any, are your concerns about politics getting in the way of veterans care? Well, I think we need to continue to make sure we deliver on the promise to our veterans. They stood up for us, and we should always be standing up for them. And we've seen a report come out very recently about the Manchester VA and the deficiencies there. There's a pretty clear roadmap of how we can rebuild some confidence, uh, involve veteran service organizations, and make sure that we have a game plan about how we can build up care there. Um, I think we need to continue to insist on funding for a full-service VA in New Hampshire. But in the absence of it, we need to build out the community-based system to allow veterans not to have to travel long distances and to receive care in their own communities. I look at this as one area where we need and really need bipartisan cooperation and action to make sure that we can address the needs not just of vets in New Hampshire, but all across this country. And I think that's one place uh, where we can make sure we can come together and do the right thing for our New Hampshire veterans. Mr. Edwards, how do you respond to Mr. Sacco's concerns? Well, uh, you, you know, being a veteran myself, I, I understand, and I've worked with veterans consistently throughout our state, uh, raising money, connecting with veterans, uh, showing up for veterans. And, and I think it's, uh, for veterans, when I speak to veterans across this state and across this district, at town halls, I've held uh, a couple of uh, forums for veterans. When I speak to veterans, what they're disappointed in is that they hear, thank you for your service, and nothing seems to work out, work out right for them. I think it's time that we really uh, start taking care of our veterans, like we said. Every 65 minutes, a veteran takes his or her life in this country. That's shameful. The fact of the matter is, is that they've given so much to our nation. And the fact that this less than 1% of our population is serving to protect not only America, but 94% of the globe, uh, we have to do better by our veterans. And that's why I, I think you're seeing veterans all over the country now stepping forward and running. Because they, they understand leadership. They've been trained in leadership. And they know how to deliver.